Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Val, you're watching our next adventure. And today I'm going to be trying to piece together this here ottoman because we don't have recliners in our new Holiday Rambler Nautica. We have a couch that is actually up a little higher on a slide. And so if that's a problem you have too, and you wanna see an option to be able to put your feet up, then this video might be for you. Let's see if it even works out. Our last couple videos I've had longer hair well long story short I cut off all that 2020 mess and I am feeling fresh and young again so moving on so I just got this thing out of the box so this thing came in this large box over here behind me which was actually pretty heavy I'm not gonna lie and in the RV world you know that weight matters the weight of your RV matters you don't want to hurt its feelings, but you can eat as many cookies as you want. Your RV sometimes can't <laughs> because her weight is going to matter going down the road. And so we try to purchase things that are lightweight and aren't going to contribute to that issue. So this thing is not lightweight. I don't know how much it weighs. Um, okay, it's 28.4 pounds. And it says it'll hold up to 400 pounds, so I should be able to sit on this thing as well. And then what I liked about it was it said it was foldable, right? So I'm thinking collapsible. It also, when you're RVing and camping, you want a lot of things to be collapsible and have multi-purpose function. <laughs> and so um, to be able to put it away, get it out of the way. And so it said foldable, which it is, but when it came, First of all, it has this little tiny rip in it, which I'm not real happy about, but that's not gonna be, be visible, so I'm not too concerned. But um, it came in all these little pieces. So for a foldable, I'm kinda like, well, what's your definition of foldable? Cause this is more like I'm feeling like I bought something from Ikea at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna piece this thing together each time I put it together, I don't know. So this thing here feels pretty sturdy and it's and it looks like it's got these Velcro strips on the inside and here along the top. So I think already I'm gonna like it for what I need it for. It's got Velcro in along all of these pieces here. So I'm gonna try to piece this together and see how it works. I needed it to be multifunctional, right? For maybe shoe storage or maybe blanket storage or whatever we wanna put in there. So I think it's gonna work. This top piece here feels like the heaviest part and it's tufted, you know, whatever tufted means, it just means that it's padded and it's got these little, you know, seams that impress in on the fabric. So I think I'm gonna like it and I also bought a tray for it. So maybe it'll serve as like a third function, which is kind of like a coffee table so we can have a place to put our drinks. Wait till you see the tray I got. It's really cool. It's made out of tobacco sticks and I got it at um, Glendale Days, Glendale Festival in Glendale, Kentucky. I don't know if you've ever been there in the spring and in the fall. You have to look it up. Glendale Days or Glendale Festival. Um, every third Saturday of May and October, there's a spring fest and a fall fest. And if you're into like craft shows and vendor events with food trucks, it's the place to go. It's freaking good. Anyway, I bought a tray made out of tobacco sticks there for 40 bucks, that's not too bad, and that thing's heavy too. So you gotta compromise on your choices on what you wanna take that's heavy. And so far, I've already, I'm already pushing two items with this ottoman and the tray. So anyway, enough talk. I'm gonna try to put this thing together and let's see how this goes. I'm gonna tell you a quick story on the piece I bought before I had to return and from Amazon and I took it back to Kohl's and it was actually a way easier experience than I um, anticipated. 
I'd never actually returned an Amazon item to Kohl's before and it went better than I thought. But I bought basically a bean bag square fabric piece that I thought was gonna work out for the ottoman. Turns out I had to buy all of this filler for it too. And so I bought all this bean bag filler according to what the reviews had said. It said I needed three bags. And when the, when the bags of filler came, I mean, they were all enormous and I'm like, three is way too many. I just know it. And so I'm trying to dump all this in the, in the bean bag and fillers going everywhere and it's all over the shop. And I knew Jarrett was gonna like have a freak out moment, but he did fine with it. He helped me put it all back in and we returned it. It just wasn't gonna work out. Two reasons. One, it was an absolute mess. Number two, um, the bean bag was still only at like 18 inches. So I don't know if you have ever searched Ottoman sizes, but I'm having a hard time finding anything between 20 and 24 inches, which is about what I need for our RV because our couch sits up on that slide and that creates like another four to five inches of space. And while that's not like a huge deal, and listen, I don't like getting into a bunch of details and things that are too complicated, right? Like I just don't have time for it. The thing is when you're old like us and you have back pain, the height of your footrest matters. And so I can't find anything um, taller than 18 inches. And so this is 20. And I thought, okay, we're gonna try it because I could not find anything 24 inches. But 20, we're gonna give it a whirl because it's foldable and it's multifunctional and it's 20 inches. So I think it's gonna work. Let's get to it. Okay, so this is the top. The pad is gonna sit on this. That's what created the strength was that that piece we put in first. The only problem I'm having now is so there's bars on the, each side of these dividers and only one on that first piece that went in, the back piece. I don't know why there's not two bars. If you put this divider piece in where like our shoes would rest or a blanket or whatever we put in there, that's very sturdy. It rests on both bars. It also does on these sides because there's a bar on that first piece we put in. Okay. The problem is, okay, let's go ahead and do the center because there's two bars here. That fits, it's nice and sturdy. The problem is, there's not a bar here. See, I can press on these because it's resting on a bar on both sides. This has one, it doesn't have two. So whatever I put in there is not going to have a second supporting bar. So I think my only option with this is to leave it with nothing. Same with that side, there's no bar here. These are all nice and sturdy. I could put something larger down there, maybe a pair of boots, that might work. Or have Jarrett <laughs> create a bar and then put one in. But what's the purpose if we didn't want to have to do all that? This fits nicely. It's 20 inches. Great. All right, I can sit on it. That's great. It's nice. Feels firm. <sighs> My only problem with it is these don't have bars on the side. I, why would they do that? And I know I'm not missing anything. It looks as though the first piece, though, should have two bars, but it doesn't. It only has one. <laughs> Let's get this bad boy in the camper and see if it even feels good with resting your feet on it. And then I'll decide how much I care that I can't use these two shelves. Because again, maybe we want to put a bigger pair of shoes in there or something larger and it might work out anyway. The purpose of it was a footrest and, poss and a possible tray for like a coffee table. The extra purpose was for shoes or storage. So, and then I'll figure out if I've done something wrong, but I do not see another bar on this back piece. There is no other 
support on this side. Why? Okay, not gonna lie, that thing was heavy to get in here, put together, but here we go, test. Yes, this is exactly what I wanna feel like. And person number two could put their feet up. And we can watch a movie, it's right over here. Let me check out this tray I bought. <gasps> Isn't this cool? It's made of tobacco sticks, and I loved that they're all like level and smooth. Now the backside's a little rough, but come on, nice and heavy, sturdy, like industrial handles. 40 bucks! The guy's name was Custom Decor and Gifts. Custom Decor and Gifts dot com. Look at that! Now we can put a drink. We'll see if I have any. Hey! Jared's holding out on me! He's got beer out here! I know what he does when he goes in his office. Ta-da! <laughs> yes, success! Do I care about the other two stupid storage shelves? No. At this point, I do not. And that's still going to be comfortable when I take off my shoes. Because it's soft. And serves several purposes. And our RV can carry the weight. It's fine. Okay, y'all. So here's the story. I fixed it. The ottoman works. All the shelves are able to be inserted. And here's what happened. Jarrett happened to come home. This has been bugging me. I'm like, Jarrett, something's not right with this ottoman. Two of the shelves don't have support on the sides. Come take a look at it. Maybe you can help me get a different eye on it, different perspective. He comes in and he's like, well, you've got it upside down. <laughs> so that's what happened. Damn it. Why is he always right sometimes? Okay, no, he's not always right because in his more ride slider tray, you know, they mess up too sometimes. So, you know, I'm just going to say sometimes you have to be smarter than the ottoman. I'm going to admit in this case today, I wasn't. Sometimes it takes a different perspective, right? And when it's not written in the instructions that I had to use this back piece support as a shelf support, I wouldn't have known that. I thought that was the top. This empty part should be the top. Let me just show you the back first piece we put in that has these foldable pieces with this little shelf. That's the bottom. I thought it was the top, so it would create support for the top piece for it. Anyway, you can see that there's a shelf here now, and apparently I'm using this edge of this support piece as the support for the shelf. So it doesn't need one here. It has one here. The support of that side piece is what's going to hold that. So that's shelf number two. So you've got a cubby one, cubby two, cubby three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It actually works. Let's piece this thing together and be done with it. Because at this point, that's what I am. I'm done with it. So I don't know if you've ever had a moment where you weren't smarter than an ottoman, <laughs> but in my case today, all I had to do was flip it over. So it might actually be an ottoman you might like <laughs> because you can in fact use all nine cubbies. If you think it's something that you might like to have as well, I will put the link in the description. You can see here what I was talking about with the couch being up on the slide. It is about four or five off the ground, and that was my problem with finding the ottoman, the right ottoman. If anything, maybe you won't make the same mistakes I made when you order it. You can look like a genius when you put yours together in front of your wife or husband, okay? No, I'm not gonna have me a beer right now. It's not time for that. I'm good. I gotta go pick up my kids from school, but I am thrilled about this. It's going to work great, and it matches. All the gray in here, I don't know, gray's the color nowadays. 
won't be the color in about five years, but it's the color now. <laughs> and I like it. So hit like or subscribe if this video is helpful in any way, or at least comical. At least we have an ottoman that works now. Yeah, it's a little bit big and heavy, but I think it's going to be perfect for what we need it for. Order the ottoman if you want, and we'll see y'all real soon. Have a good day, guys.